back to my channel. Today I am have lots I have lots of energy. Um, I actually just went to Michael's to my favorite store to shop at. Um, picked up a few things on wood that I'm going to be making, and picked up a few T-shirts that I need to do today for orders. So I'm going to take you along with me today, creating these orders. Um, I do have uh, a few T-shirts to do. I have I have a brain fart. <laughs> I have a tumbler to make, I have two masks to make, and I have a mug that's already done. So what I'm going to be working on today is a few custom orders um, for customers, and then I have some Etsy orders I need to work on. So I take you along with me. I actually have you in my tripod right now um, with my cell phone, so I want to see with moving this around with me how good that it can record and see how I'm trying to look at the camera and not at myself there. So it's a little bit hard to do, but I'm going to try. It's a little bit to get used to, but I wish I had a tripod where I could connect my camera. I actually do, but with this one here, um, it actually has a light behind it. So if I do need lighting, I can turn it on. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start cutting the vinyl to be able to make this t-shirt because it has to be delivered tonight. Um, she does have a few more orders that she gave me for a hoodie and two other t-shirts, but I'm actually not making them today. Uh, I'm just making this one t-shirt first because she wants it as soon as possible. So bear with me. Hopefully you enjoy this video and let's get to doing some work. So I'm just currently waiting for everything to load up on my computer. Um, since you probably seen in my last vlog yesterday, I changed my office around. So I'm trying to get everything set back up and fully functional in the spot that I need it. Um, so yeah, so bear with me. Things are gonna change over the next few days and things will be set up better. So this, what I'm bringing up here right now is a design that I created, but um, I took the inspiration off of another one, but I picked my own things. If my computer would hurry up and load, it would be wonderful. So oh, this here is the design. So it says vintage 1968 original parts. So that's what I'm going to be putting on a t-shirt. I'm going to be using this charcoal vinyl. And on this black shirt. So let me go ahead, set up my Cricut and get to showing you. So anytime that you do um, HTV, you always want to mirror your image as well. And you'll put the shiny part of the vinyl down on your Cricut mat. So I'm doing this in a charcoal color because it looks sharp on black. I've actually previously made one because a customer had showed me just before Christmas they wanted a design that was um, black on a gray shirt but they wanted a black shirt. So I did this charcoal gray on the black shirt and it looked so nice. So I do need to, all right. Okay, it's not exactly how I want it, but I will fix it. trying to tuck everything in behind the legs. So let me go ahead and send this to my Cricut.
So I am doing this on a 3X. So a 3X, you want it to be a little bit bigger to fill the proper spot on the shirt. So. So yeah, I did it nine inches wide. Alrighty. I need to do myself a shirt with this charcoal because it is such a pretty color, especially on black. So here it goes. So it does take a little bit because um, this here is so intricate and each of the numbers is actually lines instead of just one outline of the numbers. So it will take a minute or so. I'm really enjoying filming like beyond. Yeah. So filming and now doing how to's because it was so highly requested from people starting uh, sublimation or people wanting to know more about HTV. I'm not a pro by far. Uh, I'm doing this to help share what I know. Um, so yeah, and to show people what I can make as well. And I really enjoy helping people as a lot of my friends on here know that. And I'm always there to help. I don't want to degrudge or put people down if they're, you know, wanting to do this business as well. There's so many people wanting to start their own small business. And if you find something you like, then go for it. Who, who cares what people says? It's you and your business. You want to earn that extra money. So go ahead and do it. Actually, where I work, um, the other people I work with, they didn't do sublimation before, but one of them just picked up on doing it and she's doing amazing. And she is like, I had a brain fart. But she, yeah, she's doing really good with her business anyway, but we do have someone new that recently started after me. She's more experienced than I am. But at the beginning, you know, I wanted to help people out a lot and I was the only one doing the sublimation, so I did. That's what I was trying to say. Yeah, this is only 25% cut out, so it could take a few moments. Okay, so now that it's done, you press this button here, the arrows, it's flashing, and it will release it from the machine. I still need to clean up part of my table here so that I'm able to weed over there with not a problem. I'm just going to remove this. So the best way to remove is to pull the mat from the back. And then I need to cut this out. I better mute what I'm watching. So I'm gonna turn it this way. Now I do have bigger scissors. I'm just not sure where I've placed them at the moment. Since I just rearranged everything yesterday. I need to put everything in one spot and keep my scissors in my cups that I have over there. Okay. 
So I try to keep things as neat as possible and roll things up. So I'm actually watching a premiere right now that I just muted because I'm recorded, recording from one of my friends from Ontario, Scratch and Pete. So if you don't know that channel, definitely go and check it out. He does uh, different scratch cards that he scratches every week and you have the chance to vote on Instagram, Facebook to see what kind of scratch tickets he's going to do and each week he features uh, a new channel. So a lot of the times I'm always, normally working on Tuesdays um, when he does post his videos, but it's a really, really nice person and check him out. Now I can't pull. So I'm just trying to weed this out and I want to be very careful because there is such fine, if you guys probably can't see, but I'll show you. I just don't want to lift up parts that shouldn't be lifted up. So most of the time with um, Easy Weed, just, so this is a Caesar Easy Weed, it will come up with not a problem. But I'm just trying to be extra careful because my nails get in the way sometimes. <laughs> and I just don't want to hook anything. This is going to look so nice. I think I'm going to have to make myself a shirt like this. I just like the the nut the numeric part of this design just looks so cool. Oh yeah, and then as I say it, I completely forgot. The premiere I'm watching is by Scratch and Pete PA. I suppose it would have been good if I would have gave you the full name, but I've known him for so long, I don't normally say his full name 99.9% .9 of the time. But definitely check him out. He is also, I do believe, in the featured section um, here on my YouTube channel. Come on. If that's like so satisfying. <laughs> I should have did one of them uh, extremely satisfying videos. So hope you guys enjoy this vlog that I'm doing today. It will be a little bit longer because I'm going to be showing you the stuff that I'm going to be making as I go. So it will be a lot of editing for me. So you'll be seeing this the next day because I already filmed a video that I'm going to be posting up after. I'm trying to be so consistent um, and to be able to share as much as I can with you guys because there is quite a few YouTubers that I also make stuff for now. So I want to show you how things are made and to also any new viewers that stumble upon my videos as well. So the, more than likely this video will be over an hour long. I will fast forward through as much as I can, um, but I want you guys to be able to see. This customer here that I'm making stuff for, they are so supportive and have ordered so much from me so far, especially over the Christmas season. And I do appreciate to anybody that has been placing in orders and supporting my business. It is all well appreciated and I'm so thankful for all of it. It gives me the courage to keep on going. Because it's something I really enjoy. Just once I get this room straightened up, I'll be able to pound out a lot more, I'm sure. Even though Christmas, I did a lot anyway. <laughs> I did not stop at all. And I'm still making Christmas ornaments. So 
so which is pretty neat. Um, I do have to ship something to Australia um, on Friday. So it's a pillowcase that I have to make. So you will see that as well if you want to check out my next video. Or not my next one, probably the one after. So here it is. So this is going to be on the shirt if I get it in focus here. So vintage 1968. So let's go ahead and get it on the shirt. So as recommended by Caesar, Sizer, whatever you want to call it, um, you press their easy weed at 305 degrees for 15 seconds. Um, anything more, um, it'll probably melt it too much. You can do, I've done three different layers. So when you do layers, you only want to press for like five seconds. So it releases it off the backing and adheres it to the shirt. So that way when you press it three times, um, actually, yeah, so to only do them in five seconds. And then your last layer, you'll press it for the first time. So that way it won't be too overpressed. That's what I was trying to get out there. When I just went out to Michael's, I picked up more storage containers. I have so much vinyl. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I have so much. But eventually I will have it all up on my wall. And I'm sure I'll fill the containers with something else. So I'm just going to go ahead and wait for this to heat up. And then I will show you guys how I do it. So guys, um, the heat press is now heated, but I had this printing out at the same time because this is going to be the tumbler that I have to make after. Um, I don't believe I will show you guys um, how to make the tumbler, but uh, since I already just did a video. So I'm just going to show you a few other little things today. So I'm just waiting till that's done printing out so it doesn't push out on me or anything so I'm not in the way. So guys, let's go ahead. So first you want to pre-press the shirt for about five seconds. So what you're doing there is just taking out all the moisture that's in the shirt. Sometimes I leave it an extra couple seconds just to make sure. Also, always take a lint brush. You don't want any fuzzies or anything to stick underneath the vinyl. Then I line that up to around the collar. And I can be so picky at that. And then we press for 15 seconds. And this is a hot peel. 
and that looks stunning. At first, looking through the plastic, it looks so dark, but let me show you guys. So guys, here is the shirt that I made. It looks completely stunning. I wanted to put it on the mannequin so I could show you a better view of how it is going to look on her. So let's go ahead and make some more things. So nice. Now guys, I'm gonna go ahead and do two masks that I have to do for an order. And I'm actually gonna do an extra third one, so. So these are being done with a printable HTV. On these type of masks, you don't need to press it for the proper amount of time because normally with a printable HTV, you need to press it at 350 for 30 seconds. But on these polyester masks, I only press it as if I was pressing um, an easy weed because otherwise it sinks too much into the mask and then it's just not good. So then the white part of this turns uh, gray. So two of them are bingo masks. And then I'm going to make a Newfoundland one. It's the old flag of Newfoundland in this. And I already have pieces of paper cut. Normally I do bigger than this, but since I had them cut for mugs, I'm just going to use them right now. Just saves me from wasting it. So normally when doing masks as well too, the measurement is 2.6 by 2.6, normally what I do. Um, so when I get masks orders, I pray that I get more at the same time. Um, or I'll print off a full sheet of that one design and it just so happened that both of the mask orders I got, I already had them printed off, so I had extra. So here's one. So it says it's all fun and games until someone yells bingo. And then classy, sassy, a bit smart assy bingo babe. And this Newfoundland one. So I'm done with the heat press for today, maybe. So guys, I have all my, all my orders done. It's pretty soon as I start the vlog, I'm going to like fall on my butt, just like I did last night. But last night I made an awful freaking mess and knocked over two glasses of water, you know. So I still have the tumbler to make, but everything else is packaged and ready for the post office so now i have to go and cook supper and work on some other things i want to get some new things added to my shop so we will see and i have to get this straightened up this box here is for the tumbler i have to ship so it'll get done so here again is the shirt i made today and i freaking love it like that come out so nice this color on black is so sharp it's like shiny enough that you can see it, but it's not too far off from black, so it don't pop out. Um, the customer that 
I made this for. Um, doesn't like anything to pop up too loud, so that's perfect. Yep. I love it. I'll have to do one for me, but not say I'm vintage, saying something else. I'm not vintage yet, even though my body feels it. Hey guys, so since I didn't, as normal, it's a broken record. I know, I didn't end the video, and I actually did some more things, so I'll show you. Um, I did make a mug, because I actually just got this order probably like an hour ago, and I did it right away. So I got this mug done. It's for a customer who ordered uh, a lot of stuff already, but then her mom wanted some things. So I made some of these. So this one here, her mom seen a cardecal that I make in the Nova Scotia, in the Newfoundland tartan. So she just wanted it plain like this on an ornament. And I made two of these. And she seen a mug that I made that she liked the saying. So she wanted this on one. And then I made another ornament here too, but I'm not gonna show that up close because it is someone's like personal photo on there. Um, so I'm just sitting here editing. I hope you guys really enjoyed this vlog. I know it is a little bit longer. Um, it's, well, it's really not that long. But um, yeah, so I just wanted to show you guys how to make a shirt today and come with me and watch me make a few orders. I do have a pillowcase and a few other things that I need to make this week. Um, also the hoodies and the t-shirts. So I am going to be doing separate videos and maybe I may do one of the hoodie and the t-shirt. Maybe. I'm not too sure. Um, but I will definitely do the pillowcase one this week. I need to make myself a hoodie as well because I don't have enough, you know. It just seems like the large amount that I have, it, I feel in the same hoodies all the time, um, even though I'm not. But yeah, so I'll have some things coming. I have a lot of ideas. Also, somebody wants me to do a video and talk about my heat press and my mug press and my convection oven. Um, it's someone from Newfoundland. I don't physically know her, um, but she's a sweet lady and she wants to know more. So look for them videos that are going to be coming out soon. Um, also, if there is anything that you want to know of what I have uh, or what I'm using and you want to know where to buy, just leave it in the comments below or don't forget to check out my Etsy shop. There is more things that were added over the past few days and there is going to be a lot more. So I'm definitely going to be grinding away and all these orders that I got coming, if I can share them and put them on my Etsy shop for other people to buy, I will. So don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and come back for my next video. It could be a how-to or it could be a vlog. I'm not too sure yet. And don't forget to check out my membership shout out in the description below. Goodbye, everybody. I love you all and have a great day.